Here's an interesting one, but I don't know where they got this. Deduct 21.3 years if you had a home shopping club heart operation. <laughs> and were outfitted with a bamboo steamer pacemaker. <laughs> Subtract five years if you smoke ten cigarettes a day. Wow. Well, here's another one. Subtract ten years if you don't smoke. But your wife found Motel 6 matches in your pocket. <laughs> Here's an interesting, you have to be honestly reduced to stress. Did you know that? So I'm going to ask you here in the if you love tonight's monologue more than life itself, <laughs> applaud now. <laughs> Those people lose two years for dishonesty, <laughs> but I'm going to give you five more for sucking up. <laughs> Deduct 70 years from your life if you've ever been eaten by a large animal. <laughs> Subtract four years if your house is situated directly from the, across from the exhaust fan of an Italian restaurant. <laughs> Subtract 15 years if you live in New Jersey and your nickname is The Squealer. <laughs> Deduct seven years if your doctor has told you the next time you order a new suit, don't bother getting pants. <laughs> Deduct 16 years. This is, this is a frightful one here. Deduct 16 years if you're sentenced to prison and 10 guys give you the nickname Bunk Muffin. years if your doctor gives you a medical alert bracelet that reads in case of word, uh, emergency, don't waste your time. This guy's worm chow. I mean, that's terrible. <laughs> bad one to finish with. That was a bad one. Right. Let's, give, let's give a happier one to finish with here. Okay. <laughs> if Dan Quayle is your vice president, add four years to your life. <laughs> All right, here we're, we have, we got to go up with a real stunner, don't we? Yep. Biggie. I had I mentioned about three years if you've ever been married. Subtract three years if you've ever been divorced. Add four thousand years if you've ever been Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with just a twenty minutes.